it's so hard. When you've been living like this for so long, and you've been using food to cover up how you feel about shit. I have had a week. I, I thought that I thought that I was a lot stronger when I started this. And I, I came to the crushing realization that I'm not. I've had five nights of night eating. Five instances uh, since, since Monday. And, um, you know, it's so hard to say because I'm embarrassed. And it reminds me of, like, how fucked up I am that I can't just not eat. And then I don't want to not talk about it, right? Because so many of you have reached out and been like, y'all, I'm going through the same thing. Or, like, eating is hard for me, too. So now I feel like, I feel like I owe it to everyone to just keep being honest, you know? And I owe it to myself. Fuck. It's so hard. But you've been living like this for so long. And you've been using food to cover up how you feel about shit. I bet you get a nice run. You know, I got a nice run a few weeks of really being in control and really getting it right. And, and uh, it's like I almost forgot what a grip this compulsion has on me. I started to think, man, this is easy. I'm just going to start racking them up. Racking up the days, racking up the weeks. And then I started going out into the world. I was very gentle with myself around the first few weeks of, of stopping eating uh, flour sugar and starting bright line eating. Um, man, I, I, I cleared my schedule. I did everything I could to just gather the power necessary to start this thing. And then when I had that footing, that, that shit under my feet, you know, I started to go out into the world and engage in um, just just more of my, my life, you know? Uh, being with people, hosting an open mic, uh, doing all the things, and then all of these triggers, man. Fuck, like, and, I, and I'm seeing how much I... If I'm just here on this hill that I live on with my cat and I'm like taking baby steps around, I can do it. Nothing's really triggering me. And then when I go to try to just live my life, there's just all of these triggers and they're everywhere and it's nobody's fault. Um, it, I'm just seeing how deep the programming is. The first time I broke the bright lines... Uh, was Monday night uh, after eating and after cleaning up I was laying in bed and my mind was just so loud with the compulsion to just get up and eat more and I'm tossing and turning and fighting and waiting and trying to do all the things, trying to use this energy, but I had no energy. I was so tired and so weak. Next thing you know, boom, I'm in the kitchen. I'm fucking slapping chicken and feta together. And I'm like, woo, now it's a party. That's it. The stress of not, you know, now the, the stress of resisting is over. Now the seal is broken. Let's fucking eat. Chicken, feta, tahini by the spoonful, yogurt sauce. Now, the good thing is those are all good things. I haven't broke, I think, which is like my most important bright line slash commitment, which is not eating flour, not eating sugar, and not eating processed foods, which is fucking killing me. I was hooked on fast food for a long time. The tahini is a sneaky bitch because that is a processed food, you know, although it's not like flour or sugar or anything, that is just like fat to the dome. <laughs> and I noticed that that was the thing. 
And the only reason I was eating tahini is because I was out of almond butter and I really just wanted that, you know, and that's, that's, and I wonder, even though it's a whole food and it's just sesame seed, you know, I wonder if that kind of falls into that ultra processed category of, of, uh, just getting maximum fat, maximum calories in a small amount. I don't know. But I went to town. Oh, I've also been doing intermittent fasting, my own bright line uh, of, of, you know, I'm being gentle around it. I'm trying to give myself minimum 14 hours, but I've been going uh, an average of 16 to 20 hours, which I think has always been the sweet spot for me historically, 16, 18 hours, sometimes 20. I have a little app that tracks the, uh, it's called Zero Fasting. I have that app that tracks my hours, but I logged it. You know, I punched out of my fast and I punched back in. So I have all this data. I'm trying to at least just collect information about this fucking monster when he shows up so I can understand him more and use it as a tool. Some part of me is going, it's okay. Well, it's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll document it and we'll talk about it. And, uh, And, it, and most of this stuff has come at night. And there was another night where I woke up, where I'm laying in bed and I just can't stop thinking about this goat milk mozzarella cheese in my fridge. And I'm like, oh, this guy got a... And I got this block and I'm like, man, I can't wait to like make a recipe with it and just eat it a little bit at a time. But I'm laying in bed and I'm thinking about it and I'm like tossing and turning and turning and it's hot. And I'm like, oh, I got to eat the cheese. And I let out an audible fuck as if I am not in control, as if my body has died and been reanimated by the demon of food. And I'm like, fuck. Here we go. So where do I go from here? I know that counting days in the 12-step world is sort of a polarizing concept. I know that some people see it uh, as really helpful. Some people see it as obsessive. I see it as really helpful. I'm a momentum-based guy. I, I know that if I have momentum, I can keep going, it, it, whether it's upwards or downwards. So I know that I can... I, I can uh, it's, it's helpful for me to, to, to count days. And I look at my sugar flour freedom, my abstinence from sugar and flour, and that being 27 days. Uh, and uh, that clock hasn't stopped. That clock is still going. And the bright line eating, today would be day 21. I can't, in all honesty, keep that clock going. That clock stopped at day 16. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to restart the clock. I know that eating this way has been more helpful than any other attempt to get this insidious beast under control. So I'm going to continue to eat this way with my bright line eating, with which is basically four bright lines. No flour, no sugar. Write your meals down the night before. And then the next day, eat those meals, stick to what you wrote down, and don't eat outside of those. It's very basic stuff. It's not asking you to believe in some weird shit. It's, a, it's like really basic stuff. So I'm going to continue to do that. I'm going to continue to abstain from flour and sugar. I'm going to continue to weigh, to write my food down, which has been so helpful. I'm going to continue to weigh my food, which has also been so helpful. And I'm going to continue to do my best to not eat outside of these planned meals. And, and my intermittent fasting bright line, which is my own little addition, uh, because it works. But I don't know if I'm going to count those days. I think I'm going to count one day, which is my freedom from flour and sugar, and keep that clock going. And we'll see what happens with the bright line thing. Um, because outside of those five times that I broke the bright lines... I tried to quantify it as much as possible, too. It was five nights of night eating, and then, like, two counts. <laughs> two two counts of I committed uh, way, food weighing fraud. <laughs> and uh, I, I, um, I, so I see those. And outside of those, I've still been really good about my shit. I'm not completely off the rails. Really, the ultimate underlying goal here is to free myself 
and to wake myself up and to be free of this addiction and to be able to feel and process the shit that comes up that makes me want to eat because that's what's been happening. It's been just being stressed, feeling scared and alone. There's like some very personal stuff that's been happening for me. Feelings of, uh, I'm not going to get into it, but I see it. And I don't want to feel it, so I'm turning for a substance to numb the pain. And then there's the vicious cycle over and over again. So the plan to free myself from this shit, we're still on, baby. <laughs> I'm doing this. And I'm going to do it as best as I can for as long as I can until the demon gets a hold of me again. And then every time it does, it's going to be like trying to drag Freddy into the daylight. Trying to be like, come here, you son of a bitch. Now, now that you're here, let me get a look at you. You know, and, and writing about it and talking about it. Uh, because I think that's the only way to expel it. I think that's the only way for any of us to do this shit is to uh, let the skeletons out of the closet. You know? So... Here we are, day 27, no flour, no sugar, it's Saturday, uh, as far as I know, last week I was down 22 pounds, um, so on Sundays I weigh myself, again, in an attempt to not be like obsessed about the weight or the number on the scale, but doing it once a week just to mark my progress, and for the little inspiration and ego boost, because that I'd be lying if I say that that wasn't a part of it, that's there for sure. Uh, and I'm interested to see with this, with this week of eating outside of plan, eating, letting the demon in, um, what has changed, you know, if, if I lost any weight, if I, I don't think I gained any weight, uh, or if I stayed the same. So tomorrow we'll do the little weigh in thing, but I just had to get this video out. It's a long one. Uh, I've been bumping into people that follow me doing this. And they're giving me feedback. I, I took, bumped into a total stranger yesterday at the doctor's office. And she was like, I watch your videos. And keep going. And I was like, damn, that's pretty cool. So this is really hard for me to do. To make these videos. To talk about this stuff. to Not necessarily to talk about it. But to make these videos and then put them out there. Uh, I, I really need the feedback. It really is helpful, and anytime somebody re reaches out and tells me that they resonate with something I said, or sharing shares their own experience, um, it, it, it helps me to know that I'm doing the right thing, otherwise I don't want it to just be like a, I hope it ever doesn't feel like some kind of masturbatory act, because it's not that, um, no, it's not that, so the feedback helps, comment, respond, message me, share this with other people that are struggling with food addiction or just addiction in general. And, um, yeah, yeah. Thanks for rolling with me.